Hello, welcome back to another quilting video. Today I'm showing my symphony quilt. This is a new quilt pattern that I recently tested. It was a really fun quilt to put together, so it's linked down below if you're interested. And here's how it all happened. Okay, it's currently my favorite time. It is new quilt time. This is what I'm working with. I've had a look through the fat quarter bundles I've got, and I've come up with these three here from Art Gallery Fabrics um, Art Deco Stitch. And I've got these two here from Ruby Star Society's Added Up. I pulled out these ones that I thought all went together. I found this, this fat quarter. I have no idea what it is. There's no name, no selvage I can see, but it matches pretty well with these two in particular. So I pulled it out. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure I'll keep it, but it's there. Um, this is my starting point. I'm gonna head out to Spotlight, see what else I can find to fill out this bundle. So, I'm back from Spotlight. I've added this from the Jocelyn Proust uh, Australian line. I like the little yellow flowers. I matched that with this mustard, just plain. They go together. It's a little lighter than uh, this one here, but I think it blends well with these three especially. I think look good together. I did get this one. In the shops it was the closest purple they had. It does match this little flower well, but overall I'm not convinced, so we'll see. For the background I just got a plain um, cream. It's not quite white, but it's the same background color, as close as I could match to this one, which I wanted because I don't think I'm gonna use this as one of the feature colors like over here. I might replace the background color with this one in a couple blocks just for a bit of fun. And then I also got this one, which is again the same background and it's got this pale purple floral pattern on it. So I think these three are going to be my backgrounds and then these ones will make up the fun color. I remembered once I got home that I had one fat quarter of this, which I love. So obviously that matches well with these two because they're all the same line and I think it just it matches well. It all goes together nicely, I think. I'm pretty happy with this pull. So I'm gonna just jump right in and start cutting now. You're probably thinking, okay, so she's just talked through the fabric she's picked and how perfect they all were together and now she's cutting something else. And yes, that's exactly what happened. But I mean, look at it. How could I not include this one? It's been sitting in a different stack of fabric for weeks, longer. And I've taken it out, stolen a little bit of it to include in this quilt. This did mean that I have too many fabrics, so I've cut uh, the yellow flowers. I'm gonna combine that with the plain yellow fabric I've got left over from my scrappy trip around the world quilt. And I'm gonna use these two as the binding. So I cut enough for six blocks of each of these, which were all of my favorites. And then I'm gonna have a couple fewer blocks made with these ones. So I went and cut all of the darker colored fabrics into strips. And then I decided to make just one test block. It's a little bit uneven on this edge here, but apart from that, everything lined up really well and I'm very happy with it. So I went ahead and cut the patterned background fabrics because I wasn't sure how many of these I was going to have. So I've started with those. I'm going to have five with the darker purple and orange background and nine with the paler floral background here. So now I'm going and cutting the rest of the plain off-white background pieces and then it will be time to start chaining all of the blocks together. ever had that moment when you think your job's done, you're all ready to move on to the next thing and you turn around and your job is not done. It's like when you're doing the dishes and then you turn around and there's a saucepan still sitting on the stove 
I thought I had all of the dark fabrics here all ready to go but I don't I cut them into the long strips but now I have to go back and cut them down into the shorter lengths this shouldn't take that long but I thought I was done with all the cutting and I'm so annoyed okay dramatics over everything's cut out everything's the right size I finished cutting it pretty late at night though so I'm just gonna skip ahead now I matched up the patterned background fabrics to the colors that they would go with. I didn't want to repeat the same combination if I could help it, so that's all I organized to begin with. When I was piecing these blocks, I decided to do a little experiment. Um, I split the pieces up into two halves and I chain pieced half and I just uh, regular pieced half. So I wanted to see, is the chain piecing faster? How much faster is it? Is there actually any benefit to doing that? I did video all that, so if you're interested in that little experiment, subscribe so you can see when that's up. But the piecing was pretty quick overall, got through it nicely. And at this point, when all of my blocks are pieced together, I was so happy with these colors. I was a bit unsure about that purple in the beginning, but I'm actually really happy that it's in there now. I did take a bit of time with the layout. I piled all of my blocks by their main feature color, and then I separated out these few with the darker background fabric. I wanted to make sure all of the colors were distributed nicely, uh, both top to bottom and left to right throughout the quilt. I didn't want the same color right next to itself, and I didn't want the same background right next to itself either. This is a baby quilt, so it didn't take all that long to figure out the final layout. I did move things around for a little while, just getting everything to a layout I was happy with, but it all came together pretty quick from here. Once I had the layout set out, I kind of left it and came back a few times to make sure I was happy with it. I took a photo of it so I could refer back to it while I'm putting it all together. And then I piled up my blocks in order to move them over to the machine. Then I started adding my blocks together, made bigger blocks, put those blocks together and made bigger blocks. Uh, I only made the one mistake that needed to be ripped apart here, so I think that's pretty good. And then I had a finished quilt top. Took it outside to take some pictures of because the light is just so much better outside everything's prettier outside here and then i took it to sydney i had to spend a day up there recently so i thought why not be completely extra and take a cool top out on the harbor so this is where this quilt's at now. It's a finished quilt top, but I can't decide how to quilt it. My normal strategy is just straight horizontal lines or straight vertical lines, but I don't think that's the right way to go with this one. So since I'm not on a deadline, I'm not in a rush, I've already got the backing and the binding picked out. I'm just gonna let it percolate for a little while while I come up with a plan and I'll be sure to let you know when I have a plan. See you next time.